11 Household Products That Were Never Intended To Be Used On Your Body If not for various incidental revelations, this world would look a considerable measure changed. Indeed, a significant number of the most well-known family unit items and nourishments had inconceivably extraordinary beginnings. You may be amazed at the first proposed utilizers for corn chips, Vaseline, Coca-Cola, microwaves, and that's just the beginning. 11 products with surprising origins oil jelly what's presently normally used to help dry out lips and keep skin smooth was initially an odd goo found on oil fixed drills. Robert Augustus Chesapeake was a British physicist who was hunting down another option to sperm whale oil to make lamp oil. In the late 1850s, he ventured out to a little Pennsylvania town where he saw a tricky deposit framing on oil fixed drills. Following five years of research, Chesabri refined the substance into what is presently known as Vaseline. For a characteristic contrasting option to Vaseline, attempt three ingredient moisturizing bars for dry skin and cracked lips. Coca-Cola the world well-known drink was first concocted to cure opium and morphine addictions. John Stith Pemberton was a scientific expert who battled in the American Civil War and was injured. In the wake of building up a dependence on his morphine painkillers, he designed his own substitute made of cola nuts and cocaine. In the end, Alongside his accountant and business accomplice, Frank M. Robinson, they in the end sold Coca-Cola to people in general as another option to morphine. Obviously, the cutting-edge Coca-Cola refreshment doesn't utilize cocaine. Since soft drinks are pressed with sugar or aspartame, Take a stab at getting your fizzy settle from this turmeric soda. Listerine on the off chance that you rinse with this enormous name mouthwash, you're gargling around what was initially a disinfectant for working theaters. Sir Joseph Lister was a British specialist who was the first to sanitize his working chambers in 1865, in view of the hypotheses of Louis Pasteur, before this. Drug hadn't completely recognized the part of microorganisms and contaminations. In the wake of hearing his examination, Dr. Joseph Lawrence and Robert Wood Johnson, organizers of Listerine and Johnson and Johnson, separately, made their own clean equation named after Lister and sold it as a working theater disinfectant and wound sterile. You can very make your own characteristic mouthwash from a couple of regular fixings. Viagra this little pill was initially planned to help bring down circulatory strain. A gathering of researchers working for Pfizer laboratories were trying different things with sildenafil in the late 1990s to help with cardiovascular issues. The pill didn't work. Be that as it may, they saw a fascinating unintended symptom. Brian Clay, restorative executive at Pfizer states, however one thing that was found amid those trials is that individuals would not like to give the drug back due to the reaction of having erections that were harder, firmer and kept going longer. Microwave ovens presently a staple in most American kitchens, the microwave was an endeavor to create a military review magnetron. Percy Spencer a specialist from Maine, 
worked at Raytheon, a military organization which meant to design the best radar innovation for Allied forces in WW2, in case you're interested. The Raytheon company is still at work today as an American safeguard temporary worker. In 1946, amid one of Spencer's endeavors to make a superior magnetron tube, he saw that his nibble had dissolved in his pocket. Astounded, Spencer put an egg in the tube and it detonated. The following day, he utilized it to make popcorn. Only one year later, and microwave stoves were hitting the market. Saccharin at whatever time you appreciate a parcel of Splenda or Sweet and Low, you're exploiting a coincidental concoction lab spill which prompted the revelation of saccharin. In 1877, Russian scientific expert, Konstantin Falberg was procured by a bringing in firm in Baltimore to break down a shipment of sugar. After his work was done, Falberg picked up consent to do his very own few tests in their lab. While he was consolidating osulfogenzoic corrosive, phosphorus, V, chloride, and alkali the container over bubbled and spilled staring him in the face. Soon thereafter, Falberg grabbed the supper roll and was amazed to discover it tasted fantastically sweet. In 1886 Falberg enrolled a patent for his simulated sweetener. Teflon that non-stick cookware covering was initially an endeavor to enhance gases utilized as a part of ice boxes. New Jersey scientific expert, Dr. Roy J. Plunkett was exploring different avenues regarding an assortment of gases for the Freon Ice Box organization. When he saw his tetrafluoroethylene test had shaped into a white, tricky covering. After eight years, in 1946, Teflon was trademarked for use in non-stick cookware and stain repellent on textures. Liquor this pricey matured alcoholic drink was initially the consequences of a business alternate way in the 1500s. The most generally acknowledged story of Schnapp's creation is that a Dutch shipmaster concentrated a shipment of wine to make it less demanding to deal with. In spite of the fact that he expected to add water to the focus once the shipment arrived, the essence of the concentrated wine ended up being a victor. Biting gum biting on tars and gums to refresh breath, clean teeth, or extinguish thirst has been by and by for a huge number of years everywhere throughout the world. Notwithstanding, the main commercial biting gum was a fizzled endeavor to create an elastic substitute. Banished Mexican President Antonio López de Santa Anna was attempting to transform chicle into an elastic option. American innovator, Thomas Adams, was helping him in his work, yet found that chicle could be utilized as a biting gum. He started delivering it monetarily in the late 1800s. Corn flakes Kellogg's corn flakes and other Kellogg's breakfast grains are currently known to be loaded with sugars and added substances, however their unique designer, Dr. John Harvey Kellogg, unintentionally made corn pieces trying to make a granola that was useful for teeth. Kellogg was to a great degree enthusiastic about instructing individuals about well-being, cleanliness, forbearance from liquor, caffeine, and tobacco. As a restorative understudy, Kellogg trusted tooth rot was an aftereffect of not biting nourishments regularly enough. He urged patients to bite on dry Zwieback, a hard, fresh-heated saltine, before eating. 
however numerous patients observed them to be excessively extreme. Kellogg started to explore different avenues regarding toasting wheat, which chipped when heated, and inevitably he changed to corn. His sibling, Will Kellogg, included sugar and began his own particular organization in 1906. Popsicles Popsicles are an unsurpassed summer top pick, yet they were developed because of an 11-year-old with a limited capacity to focus. In 1905, Frank Epperson, who was 11 at the time, was really busy blending a powdered pop on his entryway patio when he exited to go accomplish something else. At a young hour the following morning, he found that the mix stick had solidified alongside the drink. It wasn't until 1925 when Epperson started offering the regard as popsicles.